Hello and welcome to this intro to StarFab series. I'm Ventivar. Let's get started. StarFab is a tool that can be used for exploring and extracting data from Star Citizen. First up, you can find StarFab by going to scmodding.tools, which will bring you to the Star Citizen Modding GitLab group, where you can find all sorts of community projects and modding information for Star Citizen. Here you can find the StarFab link from the main page. The latest releases will always be available through this button at the top of the project page. Release pages will have a short description of what's changed, useful information for getting up and running, and the installer download links. For this series, we're going to be focusing on Windows, and we'll go ahead and get the installer downloading and check out the dependencies information. Now, for most of the dependencies listed here are bundled with the installer, so you don't need to worry about those. However, if you want to listen to the game audio in StarFab, you need to have the Vorbis Codex installed, so let's go ahead and grab those as well. To install StarFab, simply run the downloaded installer and follow the prompt. And you should do this for the open codex file we downloaded as well. Once installed, you can find StarFab in your start menu, and you're first greeted by the open dialog. StarFab will try to find the live and PTU game folders and give you quick load buttons at the top to quickly jump in. You can also see folders you've recently opened or choose another location to open at the bottom. We'll go ahead and load the live game data. Right now StarFab is reading the contents of the data.pack and processing the data core. Once loaded, you're greeted with the data workspace, which is designed around exploring and extracting the contents of the pack in the data core. We'll dive deeper into what those are in another video, but briefly, the data core is a kind of database where you can find records for in-game entities. For example, the Avenger Stalker ship. On the right side of the data workspace, we have the view tabs for whatever you might be inspecting, and these can be different depending on the object you're looking at. In the data pack, you can explore all the in-game assets and other data not found in the data core. Double-clicking on entries will open a tab as long as the data type is supported. Also in the data workspace, we have a localization tool, which is very helpful for looking up what items are referred to in the pack from the in-game name you're familiar with. For example, the dust-up armor is Slaver Medium Armor 01. Finally, you can browse the default key bindings for in-game actions in the Action Map tab. The Content Workspace is used for extracting complex entities from the game files. These are things like ships, vehicles, weapons, locations, and armor that are built up of a number of smaller components, including their models and textures. Also in the Content View, we can browse, play, and extract the in-game audio files. Automated landing initiated. That wraps us up for the first intro into getting StarFab up and running. If you need help, you can find the link in the About dialog to the StarFab project page where you can submit an issue ticket. You can also join the SE Modding Community Discord or check out the wiki which is continuing to grow with new guides and in-depth information about Star Citizen. Thanks for checking out StarFab and we'll see you in the next video.